Welcome to the backyard of our fabulous mayor. Who's right there? My name is Ernst and I'm talking on behalf of uh, the Squatted Gallery Schijnheilig. <laughs> Who, I might remind you, will not be evicted today. <laughs> will not be evicted tomorrow. And as far as I'm concerned, never. Because you know, you know what the real point is. The point is not so much my individual building. The point is not so much these other individual buildings. It's what they stand for. And what they stand for is a communal statement that the way that space is being interacted with, the way that space is being distributed now, the way that space is being sold is rotten and wrong and needs to change. In my opinion, that's what squatting stands for. It doesn't stand for save my own hide or please Mr. Mayor don't evict us. It stands for go ahead and think. Think, what is good for your city? What do you want for your city? Do you want a city that is being ruled by market economics? Do you want a city that is being ruled by self-interest? Or do you want a city that is blossoming, critical, and socially engaged? That's what Schaile stands for, that's what the Blythe stands for, but that's what also what the other buildings on this so-called eviction list stand for. And that is exactly what this crappily made anti-squatting ban is trying to root out of society. It's trying to pluck it out, it's trying to say, if you make a statement, if you occupy empty space that is dilapidating inside a fucking crowded city, then you're a criminal and you don't even deserve to have your court case heard before we rob you of your house. And that's exactly what we're attacking today. And that's exactly what this court case that so luckily is not going to evict us today be offers a beginning point for. It's not about this juridical situation. It's not about this one court case that we might have won or that we have to have a small victory. It's about a beginning. It's about the beginning that this, that this law sucks. It's about the beginning that this law doesn't work. It's about the beginning that this law is being made up by national politicians who want to score populist points and who don't know what's up in society. And one, one small note, why am I doing this in English? Why am I talking in English at a Dutch demo in a Dutch city in, a Dutch, in the Netherlands? It's because this squatting ban has been put through Parliament with explicitly xenophobic arguments, with explicit attacks on these Polish and Spanish profiteers who come here to use our precious empty buildings. And I say, fuck that, fuck xenophobia and fuck racism. So that's why I'm talking in English, because at the basis, space is political, squatting is political, space doesn't care whether you're Polish, whether you're Spanish, or whether you're Dutch, cities don't care whether you're Spanish, or whether you're Polish, or in Dutch, and real populations don't care whether you're Spanish, whether you're Polish, or whether you're Dutch. It's about space and a more equal distribution that should be executed with it. It's not about nationality, it's not about fucking xenophobic arguments, it's about affecting a radical political change now. That's what it's about. Yeah. All right, which brings me to why we're here. Why we are here in the backyard of our mayor. 
we have a number of complaints, shall I say. Some things are not quite right, in my opinion, and I think you agree with me on that. In a sense, that this crappily made law by populists and rightists and liberals is being followed through hardcore by a mayor of a city whose population doesn't want this law, whose city council doesn't want this law, whose fucking culture doesn't want this law. It's alien to what Amsterdam could be, should be, and will be. And that's what we want to say to the mayor. No law and order bullshit in our town. Alright, so what do we want, right? We want this... <laughs> good idea, I'll, take, I'll make a note of that, revolution, that's good school. Alright, what do we want? We want this fucking squatting ban off the table. First. We want no more evictions for buildings who only dilapidate, or for buildings that will only be filled by anti-squatters, which is so-called practical use. No, it's not. It's robbing people of their legal rights. It's putting people in a precarious situation. And it's not solving anything. So, geen ontruiming voor leegstand. No eviction if there's no concrete plans with these buildings. But furthermore, we want to think, we want to actively say to this mayor, to this town, we need to think deeply about what's happening here. We need to think deeply how we're going to defend ourselves against racist, xenophobic shit that's pouring down on us from the national government. We need to think explicitly and profoundly and very effectively on how we're going to do things better now. We need a new distribution of space. We don't need this uh, house is like an apple, it's a right of property bullshit. No, it's a basic right to have a house. It's a basic right not to have to wait for six years until you can get a decent affordable space. It's a basic right not to pay 15 euros to see some sort of cultural event. And it's a basic right to use space if it's rotting away under our very eyes. That's what we want. So, Mr. Mayor, if you can hear us, I have um, some suggestions for you. Revolution is one. And banning the squat, banning the squatting ban is another. No more evictions if you're going to put anti-squatters in there. No more evictions if the building remains empty. That's one. And uh, to put that uh, under a little bit of power, I've got a petition here that's signed by thousands of people. We'd like to offer in that. We'd like to say, take a look around you. If you say you are just executing the law, we can ask whose laws? Are those our laws? Are those the laws of the Amsterdam people that are actually pissed off because of this situation? No. Those are not for us. We need to change, and that's all we want. All right. Thank you. Voor de volgende demonstratie. Ik vind namelijk plaats uh, op zaterdag om drie uur bij de dokwerker voor ruimte voor iedereen en tegen het afbraakbeleid. Natuurlijk ook tegen de nieuwe anti-kraakwet, maar ook tegen de afbraak van uh, socia sociale structuren en, uh, en het wegbezuinigen van wijkcentra en huurteams. En uh, allemaal komen dus ook zaterdag om drie uur bij de dokwerker. Op indemedia.nl kan je meer informatie over vinden en hou deze website ook goed in de gaten voor ontruimingen die uh, op handen zijn. Ze kunnen uh, zo snel mogelijk op reageren en actie ondernemen. En uh, nood breekt wet. Kraken gaat door. Tot de volgende keer.